feel pretty good about that. Hey guys! Hello. Oh, what's up everybody? Sorry, I have like a chair in front of my face. What's up Dean? Showtime. It's totally showtime. So actually, Dean, I have, a, I have a story for you. So yesterday when we posted that this was the video, like we made the uh, event or whatever for the video on Facebook, somebody, um, somebody asked, what is a butterfly chair? And I was hoping that it was you so that I could razz you a little bit with some humor. But it turned out not to be you. And I was like, well, I don't think I can be quite as ornery to this random person that I don't know as I would have been to Dean. So in any case... You missed an opportunity for a good Liz Raz. A Liz Raz. A Liz Raz. But that's fine. We will have some today, I'm sure. Is that a is that a button you guys need? Oh, that could be fun. Like a it'd be like a Denny burn, but he hasn't had a chance to do that in a while, so You know what today is though? What is today? Wednesday? Denny's birthday. What? Yeah. And no, I didn't even ske I no way. <laughs> <laughs> didn't even schedule he didn't even have to work today. I mean, he, he is. He's, he's helping teach Isaac. He is. So we have a new social media guy that started Monday, everybody. So he is over with Denny today learning how to tool up a belt and getting some leather work under his belt. Ha <laughs> ha! And on his belt. And on his belt. Um, so today, I've got Mr. Anderson yeah. here. Stuck, stuck with me. Yeah, just stuck with just Andy. Yeah. It's okay. That's okay. I asked him if he had any words for you guys today, and he said, words. Yeah. <laughs> hey, Jim. Also, so I'm super excited. Um, this is a style of chair that I've always really liked. Um, they're great for camping or just, you know, to have a couple extra for your house if you need some extra seating for your party people out there. Um, but they're also like, I could have napped in this yesterday. We put this pillow on it. Because it was, like, there wasn't really some head support, but we got this pillow figured out here and put on that yesterday. And I went and I sat in this chair, and I was like, this is, this could be nap time. It could be. Uh, this could be really nice. So what we're going to do is, I don't think the pattern is quite finished, but it is almost done. Yeah. Um, and so by Friday, we will have that all up and available for you to purchase. It's only going to be a digital pattern. You'll have to piece it together um, and then cut it out. Um, it is four panels. So you've got four panels. Let's see if I can get it on here. You've got two upper ones, and then there's a seam at the bottom, and you've got the two uh, seat panels lower here. So you just you'll have two pattern pieces, and you duplicate them, um, and then you'll have um, a little cuff for the the bottom and a little cuff for the top. This is just a frame that we purchased on Amazon. So I think we have a couple links. I'm not sure where we put them. We got a black one and a white one. The frames are somewhere between like 50 and 70 bucks, but they are really nice, super sturdy metal frame. I mean, we had we had some some hefty people sit in this yeah. chair from the shop, like probably close to 300 pound people. This chair was awesome. Didn't go anywhere. Super, super good. The one thing though, is that you have to reinforce these seams. So we're doing French seams um, on the chair to put the panels together. Um, and especially if you're using, like we're using Venetian upholstery leather, you will have to reinforce that seam because that one stitch line in the middle is just not going to be sufficient. Um, but it's not that bad. You just have to cut another couple, um, strips to do the reinforcing with. Did you think about a whole side of leather to cut out your pieces, Andy? Yeah. There was maybe a third left if you're good with, uh, like a 25 foot side. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to get this off the table now so that we can actually work, but. All right. So we got all our pieces cut out. I'm going to make a cool pillow for the chair because why not? And then Andy will make the actual pillow that goes on the headrest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The frames. Sorry. I kind of, I thought about showing that, but yeah. Folds up. That's why I said it's great for storage, just for a cool thing. Like. Fold up, put them in your closet, put them against the wall. Um, add a strap so that you can tighten it, you know, so that everything stays nice and together while you're in storage. But really nice. Current, currently a cocoon chair. <laughs> it is. Not a butterfly chair? No. He is cocooned. He remorphosized. Meta mm. Metamorphosis? Is that, well, is that what they do? They do. It is something that happens, metamorphosis, but I don't think you can go backwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 
No, it doesn't. It doesn't take the whole twenty five square feet. There's actually a decent amount left after yeah. you got your your pieces cut out. Like you could do several more things with the side. I don't. Do you think you could get two chairs if you nested them together correctly? Yeah, probably. All right. So yeah. out of one side of leather, you could probably get a pair of. Chairs. And from the back, I got a bunch of long binding strips. Yeah. So cut that first. All right. So four pieces. With Andy has got them here. He's going to start clipping them up. So you've got the two smaller of the pieces are going to be your seat. And then the two larger are going to be your back. What seam are you going to do first? Um, I'm going to do the one that runs from the top all the way to the bottom on nope, both pieces. Okay. I think you roll one. okay. We have the sewing machine, so we had to push the table a little bit more this way. And you're using what, two to three ounce right now? Yes. Yeah. Yep. This is our Venetian upholstery. I don't know if it's red or wine or burgundy or I think it might just be red. Yeah, exactly. Just like a camping chair. This is very similar to a camping chair. Just just heavier. Yeah, just a heavier duty one. I could say a doo-doo. <laughs> Yeah, it would be really easy just to make a cylinder with a strap so you can carry your chair. That will depend on the size frame that you get. I mean, this is also pretty frame specific. I feel like I don't know how many different styles of frames there are out there. I was looking through, and most of them are pretty standard. Um, most of them don't fold. Oh, no. Just the... There are a lot of... of mm, yeah, what is that? Just stagnant chairs. Thing. Yeah, well, it's a chair. Chair. Yeah, but we got the folding ones because I figured that would be, I feel like the folding ones are probably more expensive, although shipping on a one that doesn't fold up would be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, for those of you that have ever hand sewed a French seam, I don't, like, hats off to you guys because for every one seam you have three stitch lines, which is terrible. What are you doing? Me? Now to do your French seam, what seam allowance do you have? Uh, you can do a quarter, but I'm leaving just a little bit extra. Okay. Maybe three eighths. Because you want to make sure you can fold that back out and get it sewed back down. Garrett also didn't know what the chair was, but he didn't ask. So I was just, I was, Nathaniel, I think that that was your name for the person that asked. I am only giving you a hard time in good humor, but I did want to send, for those of you that have never um, seen that link that Google, like there's like a page that you could send to somebody where you type in um, like what, what you could have Googled. So like butterfly chair. And it's like a Google page that you can, it's a link that you can send to somebody. And when they click on it, it pulls up Google and it says, let me Google that for you. And then it, and then it types out like butterfly chair. But that's what I wanted to send Dean. <laughs> you can still there you go, Liz. Thanks. You want me to tape these down for you? Tape, glue, whatever works the best. This is what? Nothing. It's great. It's lovely. I love it. It's functional. Dean said he's here for the cat. Well, Don, that's why you have to watch our live shopping on Thursday because we sell some amazing Warren Giles upholstery leather for like $3 a foot. And all of those would be awesome options to make these kind of chairs. And her uh, Milano back sides. Hi, Darcy. I think I sold 45 feet the week you were gone. I think I sold a 25 foot high for less than 100. Yeah, we, we, we put some good deals in there. Or, I mean, we have a whole bunch of um, odd lot upholsteries as well. So, I mean, the Venetian is 
we're just featuring it because it's nice and it's something that you guys can order if you want to, which is a thing that we do try to to do is. It's an item that we can highlight without having to do what it's already been done. Exactly. So we, uh, that's what we did. Because every time we Why use, you this on Twitch? yeah, not on YouTube. It's it's the Twitch verse, guys. Come join us on the Twitch verse. It's a lot of fun. Hi, Crystal. When is next live shopping with caps? My out. Oh, caps. Um. Garrett, let me just, I will, I can try to find some options and, and shoot you an email because we're not going to be doing it for probably another m month. I think I did it the week we got back from Sheridan and um, I'm, I, I only do it about every six weeks is my time frame. This might be a little bit messy. That's fine. That's why the binding strip's wider than what we're seeing. So. Cool. I saw your owl. It looked really good. I think I gave it some fire. Then he got his all framed up in a like a wood wood grain carved frame that looks really neat. I assume at some point we'll take a picture of the finished thing and put it up on the socials for everybody to see. <laughs> Dean, Twitch is what you do. You have your own glue. Do I? Oh, I do. I thought that was my glue. No, I got my own so that we didn't have to share. So I was like, I don't want to share with Anderson. I guess I don't have to use my finger then. That is also a thing. So we did, like I said, about a three eighths. You want to do probably a little bit over a quarter of an inch to make sure that you can get this. And then did you, did you bell knife these or did you leave them solid? I left them solid. Okay. Because we want that stability. If you didn't want to French do the French seam, you could just Overlap. top stitch everything. Francesco is here from France. Well, hello. I think it's Francois. 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 Recently, you guys do payment plans. Yeah, well, Crystal, we don't. We just have partnered with a, like a credit company, basically, that will give you a loan for... Um, the purchase of a machine. So, um, Andy, if you did just do an overlap seam where you sewed two pieces down, mm -hmm. um, how much of an overlap would you uh, allow for? For me, I would do like at least half an inch because if you're doing anything less than that, sometimes one of your feet will like to roll off, even if you're top stitching, it will try and pop off through the leather if it's thin. Yeah. Like that. Also, I feel like that would give you, would you still put a, a reinforcement strip underneath it? No, because it's this way. Well. I mean, you could. You could. Dep I feel like that kind of depends on your leather. Because you could get, you could do one top stitch, and then if you put a binding strip, you could stitch one more time on the opposite side of it, on the back. I don't know. Or you could just fold them over and then add another yeah. piece here. Yeah. You could actually you could do that on the front. That yeah. would be pretty cool on the front. You overlap your, your base piece and then you do like a contrasting yeah. stripe down the chair. Yeah. That would be pretty neat. How about one piece? You can't really get the contours that you need for the Andy tried a one piece. Yeah. He tried it out and it had bad contours. You could get it to be two pieces yeah. because these are straight lines and this is straight line. Just sewn together at the they belly. Just have one seam. 
but it does allow you probably to utilize your leather a little bit better to have yeah. the four pieces. You can do a little bit more nesting and get your yield to be a little bit better. So you could, you may not be able to get two chairs out of one hide. They have a lot more waste for sure. Yeah. Yeah, we uh, we did do a one piece, but the the sling doesn't come down far enough for you to sit, and so it was it was really awkward. Um, it it didn't really want to sit well with a one piece. Maybe I'll try to roll it. Do you really see how it changed all the fabric? Yeah. On Amazon, they at least had, I mean, we bought two different versions. Um, and then they also have some non-collapsible, that's what, non-collapsible versions that are just straight. Um, both of the collapsible versions that we are posting to the video that we used, will this pattern will fit those. I don't know how different another pattern might be um, or another chair might be to where this pattern may or not function with its dimensions. Yeah, face to face. Yeah, a tool pillow would be really cool. But we have this awesome red hair on hide that we um, got odd lot that we will actually be selling tomorrow. And so we're going to be making a little circle pillow with this red hair on hide. I forgot my pillow form again last night, though. I was supposed to go the sling ottoman. Ooh. I would have to look for a frame for that. But I feel like that would be pretty easy. I feel like you'd get the ottoman with a frame and then you just do a rectangle and then sew the ends. Like the fire carrier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what I was actually, and Andy didn't do it, but what I wanted to do was do like appliques on the front um, of the top of the panels that were tooled there. Because that would be a really awesome extra touch um, to just put an applique and then you could buck stitch it onto the corner um, for a little bit of an extra flare and then do tooled ones. You could do like if this is specific for somebody, you could tool their name. So when you look at this, you kind of see how that's at a curve. It's not a straight across line. <clears throat> hey, Josh. You might be able to get it in one piece if you left like the center of it. Like and then like five six it. inches and then cut V's out to match that shape. Mm. Yeah. Because then you just have a little bit of stitch. Interesting. There's a million ways you can modify this. Is what we're saying. Because uh, the top of the sling, so we made the seam come down kind of right where you sit. So the top of the sling is a lot higher than the bottom of the panels. Here, while he's sewing that, maybe I'll put the chair back up here. It's big and awkward. So this is a lot farther of a distance from the top here to the bottom where the seam comes in than this is. Because you definitely... Like, this is pretty loungy, guys. It's pretty loungy. Um, so you have a much, just farther there. And then, if, I mean, if you made it, like, then the seat wouldn't, it just wouldn't sit right. Actually. Andy, hold my beer. <laughs> There. Isn't that nice? It's Chevy. Chevy, you did find the party. We're lounging. 
This is this is the most seriously I could just take a nap right here. And this pillow really made this chair. Because before there wasn't any head support, and I was like, something needs to happen there. So, hi, Luz. What are you doing? <laughs> What's up, Ryan? Oh, and I even got my Chevy shoes on. What's up, guys? We were watching you on Ryan. <laughs> Everything is OSHA approved, Eugene. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Just don't worry about it. It's hot up here with these lights. There's lights right here. They are not cool. I feel like I'm... Oh, we need a drink. We need a... Got two hands. Put a drink on. Yeah, I guess it's a... we just put it right there. Or the ground is literally right here. So Once it would be... Down, it My pants do have holes in the knee. Because they're cool like that. I should have worn my real holy pants. Your church pants? Yeah. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> uh... Everybody say hi to Aaron. Hi, Aaron in Kansas City. It's not Sunday. <laughs> How's it going, Andy? I'm about ready to go down this next part. All right. She's up on the table. Yeah, uh, Luna doesn't like this. Yeah, it's a great chair. So just. Did we go up there with it? I thought that she might, but she didn't. I'm gonna go off the front side. The difficult part would be attaching the arms so that they stayed steady. And then, like, finding a good spot to attach them. What side does Andy live on? Which side does Liz live on? <laughs> we don't, I gotta talk about that. It's fine. The, the strip should cover most of it up. It's See? perfect. We could always use a wider strip. Well, Everything's well, fine. The most critical of everybody in the forest here. I am. I'll let you do the honors this time. You okay. need to take what I'm dishing out. I put my bead of glue was was too heavy. Too fat. Fat glue. Fat glue. Isaac, are you ready to meet our YouTube family? Are you ready for everybody to meet you? <laughs> uh, yeah. You want you could just pop in and just like wave real fast. You wanna, guys? Let's let's meet Isaac. He's a, I've been here a whole two and a half days, and he likes fishing, so he works. Ta da! Right there. Okay. there you are. I'm not getting barked at anymore, so that's good. I know. We I'm already did a good job. Oh, uh, just <laughs> be too soon. Yeah. <laughs> just wait. She's a little bipolar. It comes and goes. Oh, I'm sorry, Twitch. The Twitch family, too. Chevy's like, I guess we're not family. You're not here enough. Yeah, Chevy, it's like you have a job or something. I wasn't talking, I was going on a lot of sleep. I like how Darcy, I think Darcy came in on YouTube and then she popped over and was like, What's up, Twitchers? She's on all of it. Isaac, or Isaac, little Isaac or Isaac? No, just Isaac. He's real, it's real plain like that. No, I can't see. Just kidding. <laughs> How's that glue up going? It's, it's getting there. Ooh, and I am making Andy do um a rolled bound edge. So we'll probably get, oh, it's only 11.30. What you're saying is, I need to slow down. <laughs> We're doing good. You can get it done. We can stick with my plan for driving. Well, that French edge takes a long time. Basically, triple stitch in every seam. Yeah. 
No, that is true. You have to do a lot of sewing here in just a second. Crystal, I'm going to leave it to you to come up with a cup holder design. Like you have to, I don't know how you would. It would just clip to the, <clears throat> the frame itself. Yeah, but you need it to stay where you put it. Yeah, if you put it right at the, <clears throat> the hinge, it wouldn't slide any further down, so you'd have your cup right there. Gonna connect it to the top and the bottom. Like, would you sew it to the leather? Just little snaps, probably. Maybe something. You can sew it right if that's right <clears throat> when the seams come together. Like right there next to your butt. Like, just like put a cup holder there. Yeah. Like, like a just build a koozie. Yeah. And then just rivet it in. Sure. Sew it on. Place it up. What happened to the hair dryer? Oh, wait. I think the tools. No, right there. Okay. I haven't done one of these in a while. Mm -hmm. Who did that? Chevy. Chevy. You must have a lot of points with that. Yeah, Eugene, that's what I was. I don't know. I haven't looked for director's chairs just as a, a frame. Um, of all places that have them, <clears throat> Home Depot. Just a frame? Yep. Check out the Home Depot, like ours here in town. Like you went there and you saw, you saw one. Well, it said they had them in store. I looked them up on on the web, their website. See this part, I I did on a shoe anvil. So. How many would you know then? Because you didn't have your credit card. Exactly. Luna, Luna. They have multiple options and multiple colors. Hey, everybody, check out Home Depot. Run, run. Yeah, I was going to say the fabric probably isn't adding a lot to the cost. Most of the cost is probably in the frame anyways. Yep. Like ukulele. I'm okay. I don't, I played the violin for quite a while, but I also have not played it in like an extra long while. So, um, Electrodyne said that we they should get me a ukulele to play while any special guest is assembling projects. <laughs> is that opposed to me talking, Electrodyne? Is that is that your solution to listening to me? We could um, really we have several actual talented musicians in here. Like we could get like Joe plays a guitar, Tony plays a guitar, Kevin. But we all actually have tried to do the music thing a time or two, and um, our sound is made to suppress loud noises so that we don't hear all the machinery on the other side of this wall and all those things and so it's just not really set up to do both at once.
He's Andy. Drive oh, the dog off. I know. Again, this is one of those cast iron shoehorns. Blair, you gotta post that. Made it. You gotta post that mug either on Facebook or on our Discord or wherever it is that you're a friend of ours. You should send us a, a picture of that mug. That sounds awesome. All right. <clears throat> Time to put our strip on. Yep. So how wide is the strip? An inch and a quarter? Uh, this is an inch. I think this is inch and a quarter. Okay. You go one direction first. Should I put glue I, on it? I'll put both of them on there, so. Extra. Start gluing. All right. Is that your across one? Yes. Okay. See how much uh, glue we can get on this hide. I'm going to be better. Yeah, I'm a little concerned about it actually going through the seam, so I'm trying to go light. I mean, really, if you just get it slightly over the edge, because that's where this will stick to. I'm going to hand me one of those pieces of paper. Do you have two or no? Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Hey, Wayne, how you doing? Yeah, it would be awesome if a ukulele were playing right now. I feel like I was at Silver Dollar City. They don't play ukulele like someone else. They play mandolin. Mm -hmm. We need mandolin. All right, sorry, guys. Sorry, sorry. I should have, I should have asked you the, the, the other strip. Yes. Yeah, the, the last year I was there, they were doing like remakes of 70s rock, bluegrass style. That sounds fun. Come get because that's what's happening now. That was like two or three years ago. It was almost two years ago in August. Can you find yourself making butterfly chairs? Mm hmm. <clears throat> Not having to dress up. Oh, you had to wear a costume, didn't you? I was lucky enough that since I'm a, I was a craftsman, that I just wore, like, I wore express cotton, like, dress pants, black, basically like jeans, but made out of cotton. Huh. And just, some type of button-up shirt, and they were fine with it. So I wasn't gonna complain. <laughs> gonna everybody else, up. everybody else, is polyester, polyester, polyester. Yeah. 
W? Oh. That's very vague. What do they do at Silver Dollars? Like one of the ho so one of the hosts. And I, I, I think I know who you're talking about. I there's too many people for me to remember any names. But I, that's what they're called as a host. They basically walk around, talk to people, help people out. He is the host, yeah. Make sure you don't get lost in the park. Yep, pretty much. You know what I'm talking about, Justin? Yeah, it's only a chicken. Thank you. You're welcome. I've been to the Silver Dollar City in. I was going to say, how often do you go, Tony? A few years. Once a year. At Christmas lights. You can see the Christmas lights. That Christmas tree is pretty crazy. Supposedly, there's a few places in Branson West you can still see it. A few miles away. That is ridiculous. It was nice getting to walk through that and not have to deal with people because I get to walk after everybody left. You know how many people work there? I have no idea. I feel like it's a lot. Like thousands. Yeah. Probably like the whole city of Branson works at Silver Dollar City. There were some people that drive up to an hour to work there. Wow. Yeah. Like to be a host? To or either... Like more the crafty side? Any of it. To just, you know, work in a, one of the stores or crafters. You have a lot of actors and actresses too, don't you? Yeah. That walk around. Did you go to a baseball game while you were in Atlanta? Was. No, but I was right across the Cobb is right next to the baseball field. So I got to stroll around. Like they have a walkway from the Cobb um, over to the field. And like they've got a bunch of shops and restaurants. And so we went over there and we had dinner one night. It was actually really cool. Went to Fat Tuesdays and got myself a pina colada and just walked around and drank it. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> but no, there was, I don't think. I mean, I, I honestly, I don't know if there was a game the night that I was over there. There wasn't a game. Yeah, I don't, you I don't do baseball. You probably would have been able to hear it. I don't do baseball. Not inside the club. And I don't, I mean, I, I feel like a lot of sports ball happens in the evening. The show ended at 6 and then we left. Sports ball. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to catch up. We're letting glue yeah. dry. So, this is glue dry. We're just watching glue dry. Um, Crystal, next on the YouTube build, I mean, so we've got this, and then is next week the last week of the month? Uh, next week is the, the Chan. Oh, right. So, next week, um, we will have, we're just going to be going over the Chan gear uh, pattern packs that we have. Uh, we haven't really ever talked about those on our on our socials. And um, yeah, and then so that'll be either Wednesday or Friday. And then we have our $100 boxes coming out tomorrow. So our second quarter $100 box, mystery box will be released. And then uh, Denny and I will be just crafting with that either Wednesday or Friday of next week. I'll have to get with Denny and see when he wants to do it. He'll probably want to do that on Friday. Um, so Wednesday, we'll be going over just the different Chan gear patterns we have, maybe doing some tooling, looking at those. He's one Perfect. Then he's picking one out to do. Um, so if you guys are familiar with Chan gear, maybe you're not. And we'll, we'll kind of show you the stuff that he's got. And then um, let's see here. $100 box. We'll just be crafting with that. And then the next week will be our end of the month hoopla of our round table discussion and then our trading cards. So yeah. And then we've been getting a ton. We put out the request for um, machine questions. This fella is going to be doing a machine video with us and answering all of your machine how to's. So he will be talking on that video. There's a thing you can reply to if you have any somewhere. Yeah. I think it, 
Facebook. Instagram and Facebook. Yep. Send us all of your machine questions and we will get through as many as we can. What will be Denny's next? Garrett will be doing the Chan Gear stuff. So Denny's picking out one of the Chan Gear patterns and he'll be tooling that. So. What kind of patterns are Chan Gear patterns? Um, it's, it's mostly, it's tooling. It's tooling instructions, tooling patterns. He does, I think he does some animals, uh, a lot of nature-y stuff. They are not new. We've had them for a while. Um, but we've never talked about them before. And they're, he's one of the greats. So we're gonna, we're gonna do that. You wanna get that glue dried? Maybe. Tooled brush. This right. You slap leather on a paddle brush for women. Oh, that's fun. I do like those old vintage brushes. All right, so let's see here. Malgram asked if we could go over where we're at. So we've got our chair parts sewn up. There are four parts. You've got two bottom panels that are the same, and then you've got two top panels that are the same. Um, so we got all of those stitched together. We stitched the two bottom panels together in their middle seam, and then the two top panels together in their middle seam, and then we sewed both of those sections together across this section. Um, and now because this is two to three ounce leather, um, we don't want it to stretch or break on us. So we are covering our French butterfly seams. Um, huh, butterfly seams for our butterfly chair. Anyways, so our butterfly seam, we are covering it with a secondary um, strip of the same leather. If you wanted to, I suppose you could use a heavier leather, but this should do it. Oh, you are, you gotta. We find out if you end up on the floor. Yeah. But this should be sufficient, and then we will be sewing these seams down. Um, get our foot back over here. So now we're just applying our reinforcement strip to our seams to provide some extra stability. And then we'll be sewing those down. is a four-handed project. <laughs> Down the back, now we're gonna go across the butt. It's gonna be great. A tooled casket pillow. 
Uh, that would be that would that would be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. There'd be something. Um, I do want to do this is a little less somber than that. I do want to do like tooled um, graduation cap panels. That's been something that I am. Um, I've been seeing quite a bit of. And we had a customer that that reached out to us and was like, "Hey, this is a cool thing that's happening." So, found found a graduation cap and. Yeah, I do feel like it would be very similar. If I buy some kind of goat Bundy in the future. Um, I would not recommend goat for this because that's probably going to be way too stretchy. Well, and isn't it goat that sometimes rips in one direction and not the other? Maybe. I think so. Um, I, I would stick with cowhide upholstery for this. Uh, and... Um, and also it might be difficult, like this is, this is one of the panels. Um, and so you're probably only going to get one panel per, and then you won't be able to get, if you do decide to bind it, you're not going to be able to get hardly any amount of length out of your goat skins to do binding with. So I would, I would look for an upholstery cowhide. All right. Fun times. How's your shoe anvil mounted? It's just a, uh, it's on a base. So. So you don't really see the bases as often as you just see like the feet. Or like they'll, sometimes they'll have tabletop stands that you can mount it. This is just a floor stand. Yeah. Oh, she's not in here though. Because she ran away because we were hammering. Um, band cap decorations? That's weird. Michael, we haven't put the leather lo Lego guy on the schedule yet. I. I will need to prepare for that and I haven't had time to really think about it. So we'll, we'll get there. Yeah, I thought about a tooled one and you might, you could maybe even just do an overlay. So if you built the chair out of an upholstery leather, you could create like a veg tan panel. Once again, that you could buck stitch on or just sew down around the edge and just do maybe like a back panel or something. Um, but also as I was thinking about it, that's just going to get a lot of like rub and use. And I feel like that's going to wear down any coloring or antiquing or it's just going to be, this is a pretty heartily used item. leather patchwork teddy bear uh we we do have a leather teddy bear we did it last winter um we used some shearling and i mean the bear itself is quite a few pieces so if you wanted to you could do patchwork and then just cut the pieces out of the patchwork that you built 
Um, we use shearling for the, the pads, the inside of the ears. Um, and then I think the belly section, or you could use it for the belly. But we do have a teddy bear pattern, and we did do that video last year. Probably, probably not going to do another leather teddy bear. They were fun. That was a lot. Oh, um, do you guys remember who did the the Lego pattern? Who did the who made the pattern? Yeah. So, so there was one of the one of the people that do a bunch of leather patterns had a Lego man that they made out of leather. Like he was kind of like a teddy bear, but he was a leather Lego man. Anyway, so we have the pattern for it. Creative all. I don't think it's available anymore, though. He probably got a copyright restriction on that, which frankly is another thing that I'm a little bit concerned about. I don't I don't know. I don't want to get SLC in trouble. <laughs> If you're not selling it, it's fine. If you're selling it, um, mm. all right. Which it away. Yeah. Um, Larry wants to know what size thread you're using. Uh, one thirty-eight. One thirty-eight, top and bottom. Yep. 138 top and bottom. No, we didn't We didn't size up for the seam. We just used the same. I, I wouldn't use anything <laughs> less. Dean says nice hands. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, that's I've been told I have soft hands, too. Who told you that, your mom? Yeah, Crystal, we, we have a lot of videos. No, it, it was it was a drummer oh. back in high school. We were holding hands to pray. He's like, man, you have really soft hands. <laughs> That's not weird at all. Maybe you should have kept that one to yourself. <laughs> what other, what other story, this is why Andy doesn't talk very much. <laughs> what other stories you got, Andy? I don't know. Um, <laughs> Justin did, did, uh, did he choose one of the tooling patterns yet? He was going, I got in the books, he's going, he's working with Isaac, right? mm -hmm. working with Isaac, and we're going to pick one. Okay, we will tell you guys on Friday what tooling pattern Denny's going to use, that way you, you have a... picture of it and a thumbnail up by the end of the day, so you will be able to see what... Alright, Justin says he will have a picture of it and a thumbnail up by the end of the day, so that you will know what, um, what tooling pattern we're going to go with out of chain gear selection. Palm all of hands. <laughs> you gotta keep those soft hands. Now he's got he's got needs foot oil hands like Denny. I just don't get calluses. I don't know why. Chevy, what are you gonna do with your clipping? Into that little twenty six go. Not to cut my throat here. He was clipping Andy's story. No. Oh. Should have checked my bobbin before I started this one. It's getting louder, which means it's more empty. Larry says he can burnish his leather with his calluses. It's real special.
Yeah. Okay, put them in. All right, last stitch. The last stitch ever, Andy, you can do it. Only a lot more to go. <laughs> That's okay, we made it to, we made it to noon, so you get to, is the pattern part of the bundle on your site or just an individual one? Are you talking about the, the one that Denny's going to tool, the Chan gear pattern? Um, it's it's going to be out of one of the books, so it won't be just like an individual pattern. It'll be one of his, I think he's got a couple pattern packs and then a couple books. So it'll be one from one of those. Look at these stitch lines. It seems looking good. It has a little bit of glue in it because I did that. Well, you can't. I should have. You, you should have let from across the room. Yeah. Well, I mean, you can with a video because it's not across the room. <laughs> You, you should have glued up the seam, and I should have glued up the liner. Oh, well. Well, we'll still have to make one for the black the black frame, right? That's what you're oh. right now. The other one already, the white one already has? No, that oh. one's been cut up and... Yeah, that's just our sample. Oh. Maybe we'll do a collab with Denny. We'll get some tooled panels and... We'll make it all fancy and then give it away at the end of the year. Are you not going to go down and to Soto City and ride fire and hold for the last time ever? No, <gasps> are they taking it down? That's the only good ride down there. Really? Yeah. On the are they going to redo it? But like that's that's like the most classic ride at Silver Dollar City. Meant that doesn't. That's why it was so fun. <laughs> I think it did. It was just, it's the oldest ride that's there. They're putting it in front of the camera. Oh my god. Dean gave us a compliment. What? what? what he says it looks nice. Oh my gosh, Dean. How much did Dean have? I'm gonna faint. What, did, what are you drinking over there? Did such a good job, stop. Good. stop. <laughs> Safety third. I mean, fire in the hole was great. It's still great. You can go ride it. One last yeah, time. When am I gonna go? When is it? When is it ending? It's um, probably start of next year when they close down. For the one day. All right. All right. So here, you hold the butt. That's that's what we got. So we now have this awesome contoury little chair sling. And uh, on Friday, we will do an awesome bound edge. We will get our pockets on the front and the back. We could just do like some lasered appliques. I don't know why I want so bad. Like I just really want these little corners to have some lasered appliques. Look how fancy Tony. R&B department. Have a R&B department. Hey, that works. There we go. <laughs> I mean. <laughs> Andy, are you part of the R&B department? R&B department. Spit some rhyme for us, bro. I'm a part of all departments. <laughs> oh, Eugene, we've made so many. We've yes. made so many chaps. It's rhythm and bluegrass. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. So we'll do the bound edges. We will attach the pillow. Um, there's a pillow that will go across, and we'll have that made. And then we'll be making just an accessory pillow for the inside out of the sweet red hair on hide that we will also be selling tomorrow on live shopping if anybody needs some sweet red hair on hide. And we'll definitely have a pillow insert by Friday. That is right. I will... Go to Hobby Lobby tonight before I go to my sister's, and I will get a pillow insert. I will do that. Okay. okay. I went to so many stores yesterday. 
Did you really? I sure did. You looked, looked for them or you just went to stores? No, I just went to stores oh. last night and I totally forgot about it. All right. Um, we did talk about Hicks yesterday, so I gave him another chat. Oh, yeah. Yeah, everybody get your knife needs from Hicks Custom Knives. So I looked for the Moto Chap leather page and didn't see many colors. Uh, don't look at Moto Chap. Uh, just type in. Uh, just chap. We have lightweight and medium weight chap. The moto chap is a very specific line, and I think there's. I think it's only like the neon colors, and there's just leather, chrome. So shop now, leather, chrome, and then chap. Okay. Did there, you get that? There's a new leather that we have that would work good for lightweight chaps. That new bomber leather. Yeah. Uh, Laredo. Yeah. Yep. We're we're getting ready to introduce. Um, we got some new leather out of our Dallas show this year called Laredo. They're full hides. Um, and they would be amazing chaps. It's like three or four different colors of just kind of a nice, like distressed two-tone, um, just like neutral tones that you could jazz up with all sorts of fun things for, for chaps. So when are you doing the headboard? Someday. I do think that I have said I'm good. I just have to get the wood cut, which is going to be, I drive a Honda Fit. So getting like four by eight panels of wood in my car is difficult. You've got a roof. It's fine. you got Kevin's truck. I know. I'll bar that's why I had to borrow Kevin's truck. All right, guys. We will, <laughs> we will see you later. Thanks for joining us. Come and check us out tomorrow on Twitch at 2 p.m. Central Time for live shopping. Tony and I are finally going to be back in the studio together. It's been like two weeks of just one or the other of us. So come see the shenanigans and buy some cool leather tomorrow. And then we'll be back on Friday to finish up the chair. So have a great rest of your day. Bye. Bye.